Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing, and I'll never take that for granted. I'm a 58-year-old American who grew tired of the rat race and decided to pack it all up and move to the Philippines in search of a new life. Well, I found that new life, and I want to share with you my boots on the ground experiences the only way I know how. That's by giving you the nitty-gritty. Exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing, I'm never going to sugarcoat that. Uh, welcome everybody, especially my new viewers and subscribers. Uh, today is my birthday, hence you heard, uh, you know, I'm a 58 year old American. And I'm just grateful man to still be alive, uh, be living really my best life over here in the Philippines. Um, the subject of my vlog today is uh, 99 problems, but a Filipina ain't one. Uh, living a single life in the Philippines. One of my subscribers on my live stream the other day, he asked me, he said, Calvin, uh, can you talk about what life would be like for a single man over in the Philippines? Is it possible? Of course it's possible, even though most of us think that uh, we're obligated to have a girlfriend, a living partner, or even get married when we come over here. We when we think of the Philippines, we think of the Filipina, and it's sort of intertwined, uh, and it's, it's like you can't have one without the other, but that's not true. I know many guys over here who are single, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about it, some of the benefits. Uh, I've only lived single here for a very short while in my 12 years on and off of being over in the Philippines. I'm just not one of those type of guys. I like to be with someone, I, you know, I don't like being alone. I don't like to be by myself. Um, you know, I like somebody with me. You know, uh, it's just how I am. You know, it, it doesn't make me better. Doesn't make me different or anything like that. But I was in Cebu uh, recently, maybe not even a year ago, pre-pandemic though, and we were eating at the Pancake House, and I saw a guy. And of course he was American, I waited till he finished eating, and when we went outside, we exchanged some pleasantries. You know, we was talking, and I asked him something like, you know, what part of the Philippines is your girlfriend from, uh, Do you, does she live in Cebu, and something like that. And he, he said something that shocked me. He said, well, you know, I'm single here, he said, I don't have a girlfriend here. He said, I tried the girlfriend thing, it didn't work for me. You know, and he was just, started talking about why it didn't work for him. And the one thing that he really said that stood out was he said he didn't want to come over here and create something uh, that he was getting away from over in America. You know, he didn't want to come over here and, you know, start another family. He was 62 years old. He was from Los Angeles, California. He said, you know, I certainly didn't want any children. He said, I spent most of my life in America being either married or having a living partner. He said, this is the first time in my life that I've really been able to be free. You know, so he said freedom was something that uh, he really enjoyed about being single over here. He, lived, he had his own condominium. You know, and he said that you know, he doesn't feel tied down. He doesn't feel obligated to anybody. He can come and go as he wants to. And, you know, anybody that's ever dated a Filipino, seriously, or married to him, or been and a uh, living partner knows that they want to go everywhere with you and there's nothing wrong with that but if, if you're obviously like him and you want that freedom uh you don't want that obligation then you know the single life uh is the way to go for you also it's another thing that he said to me that stuck out to me and it made a lot of sense you know he said you know i like the freedom obviously but he said also he said he has he found out that now that he's single, he has extra money. See, uh, he says that he doesn't have to take care of anybody. Because, you know, let's be honest, guys. When you come over here and you start dating a Filipina and you get with a Filipina, you're going to have to take care of her. She obviously can't take care of you. And I'm talking about majority of us. I'm not talking about the exceptions. And the exception just means the rule is correct. You know, you're going to have to pay for everything, you know. Whenever you go out to the movies, you're paying for two. You go to the restaurant, two. I don't have a problem with that. You go to the resorts, two. He said he's found out he had extra money, and that helps toward his budget. See, and that's uh, and and I'm, it's funny how he even brought the word budget up because we're always going back and forth about budgets, guys. 
that's why I'm telling you, budgets are like assholes. We all have one, you know, and some of them are tighter than others. But uh, the point is, it all depends on your lifestyle, who you are, where you live. Are you single? Do you have a living partner? Are you married? Do you have children? Does she have children? See, he doesn't have children. So he says it frees up a whole lot more money for him. And he just found that, you know, his life is less stressful because he has more money. See, because if you don't have enough money over here, guys, it's going to make your life stressful. You know, things aren't going to be as happy as you think they are. So, you know, freedom was one thing. Money was another. But the one thing he said that uh, kind of surprised me, he said, you know, the hurt feelings. He doesn't have to worry about, you know, the hurt feelings. Either his heart getting broke or breaking the heart of somebody else. Because, let's face it, when things don't work out, man, you have to split up, man. There's a lot of hurt feelings, man. Some people take it uh, better than others. You know, uh, not everybody's had their heart broke. And it's not a good thing. And, you know, why come 8,000 miles to break somebody's heart? You know, and that made a lot of sense to me, you know, because, you know, they're going to love you eventually, man. No matter what uh, was the reason that you got together uh, in the first place. Uh, they're going to love you, man. And then if you want to break off with them, uh, they're really going to be hurt. Because when they love, they love hard. And I'm the same way. I love hard, too. And, you know, I've had my heart broken many times. It's not a good feeling. And he, he said, well, you know, I don't have to worry about that. You know, he said he does date, so it's not like he's living a womanless lifestyle. He just says, you know, whenever he gets in the mood to go out on a date, he'll go out on a date, you know, but there's no, he's not tied down, there's no obligations, and he makes sure uh, he puts that up front. And he did say he, uh, he didn't want to have any more children, you know, at 62 years old. He thought he was just too old, and you know, to each his own, you know, and but that makes a lot of sense. He said, now that my children are grown, he said, I don't want to start that process all over again. So, you know, the freedom of being single over here, you know, you get extra money, you know, you don't have to worry about the hurt feelings and creating enemies and everything over here. And, you know, it's possible over here now in this new Philippines that you can be single, that women will, um, understand that sort of uh, lifestyle because see Filipinas even though uh, you know Filipinas want to get to know you okay but they just want to get to know you up close you know it's not like you know of course you want to take it slow and you want to get to know the woman but we can do it in a separate household no they don't trust us as far as they can see us so she wants to be with you as she gets to know you as y'all develop the relationship and you know fall in love or fall out of love whatever it's going to be and you know uh, his thing was he don't want to worry about those hurt feelings guys uh, but the last thing i'm going to talk about and it's really the most serious thing is your life expectancy man you know it could save your life by being single over here because uh you know recently a an American and his Filipino wife were murdered. I don't go into details. I don't know anything about it. That's not why I'm bringing this up. But as I look back over the last five or six foreigners who were killed over here, they were all either married or had a living partner. Now, that was the one that just happened May 24th. They were north of Duval. He was actually with his wife or girlfriend. And then the one before that was a Norwegian uh, living in the province, they found him dead in his house. He actually had a bodyguard, but he was married with uh, a child, and the parents of the woman were living with them too. The American in Bohol, he was actually killed by his girlfriend. He was killed by his girlfriend. Uh, there was a German citizen in Dumaguete who was killed by his ex. He came back to retrieve his uh, belongings I think the last thing he was trying to get was his motorcycle and she either stabbed him or shot him I can't remember but she killed him uh, there was a case here in Bacala uh, back in 2020 where the I think he was a Norwegian too 
he was married and you know they came into his house and you know he was killed he was shot and killed then there was a, a american uh, in bahal uh military ex-military he was jogging and was killed of course he was married and but the reason i say that and they all either married or with a filipino and the reason i say that because not because that's going to happen to you but when you're with a filipina here's what's going to happen she walks a little taller than she normally would if she wasn't with you uh you can ask any of them you know uh and she may say and do some things that she normally wouldn't say to create enemies over her to get you in the middle of a jackpot and see there you are but another reason and probably the main reason and one of my a Filipina subscriber said it. She said, you know, if you're Filipino and you don't have any money, life in the Philippines isn't fun. Like, you know, the foreigners that come over here and we have so much fun. You know, life over here is hard. And when a Filipina gets with a foreigner and her life improves, you know, people get angry. People get jealous, even though they won't say it. And that can create problems, you know, for her and for you. So, when you're single, you don't have to worry about all that stuff, the potential things happening. You know, all them guys that were killed, all them foreigners were killed, they were either with, married, or had a living partner, man. But when you're single, you don't have to worry about that. You're not going to get caught in the middle of some jackpot situation that you probably don't even have anything to do with. It. And I know what you're going to say when, when, when I was talking about saving money. They say, well, if you were the Filipinas, you're going to save money because just give the money to her and then she will do all the shopping and everything for you. But see, yeah, that may work for about a week or two until they find out that she's with a foreigner. It's like my girlfriend. When she goes to the market, at first she could get a deal. But now they know that she's married, you know, well, basically married to me. So she's going to get the foreigner price. She doesn't get a break. All right. But that's just some of the things benefits of being single over here and yeah absolutely you can come over here and be single in this new philippines is what i call it all right where you know you got a lot of facebook and instagram and TikTok going on now these women now they're different and they may understand that you want to slow down and take it easy and get to know them because they're the same way except they want to get to know you up close they want to live with you you know because they don't trust us you know and I don't blame them, but they don't trust us as far as they can see us. So, thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm going over to Sapawe Island to celebrate my birthday today. And I'm going to bring y'all with me. I hope I've got a good signal over there because we're going to do a live. I've got a couple of special guests that's going to be over there. I want y'all to join me because, hey, it's a celebration. Even though 20.8 million people around the world share this day share this special day with me they were born on the same particular day i feel it's special because it's me we're in the philippines and i'm a year older man and where i come from once you reach 50 man that's a that's a milestone you know and i want to thank y'all man if you're in america it's getting late before you let your head hit the pillow please find somebody to help but if you're on one of those late grocery runs beer runs we runs just getting off second shift or you're on your lunch break and you see somebody in the street buy them something to eat buy them something to drink give them a couple of dollars in the philippines it's about 9 30 a.m on a friday a morning may 28th my birthday uh i'm going to intentionally go out today and help somebody like i always do there's not a single day that i don't go by and intentionally find somebody to help whether buy them a uh, a meal, or give them a few dollars, buy them some rice, some grocery items. It's just something I do. Why do I do that? Because people over here need our help. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID free. I'll see you next time.